Hey guys, it's Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how we source coins for our coin shop and how you can almost find an unlimited amount of coins if you do these things. And it's something that we've been trying to perfect over the past three years that we've been doing this. And so we hope this is informative to you. Let's get this video started. So there are three things that make your coin business valuable. Who you buy from, who you sell to, and what inventory you have on hand. We're gonna put all those three things together in this video because it's important. If you don't have anybody to buy from, you don't have the inventory on hand, and you don't have anybody to sell to. The people that you go to buy from are extremely important in the coin business that you're building. The coins we wanna show you today come from a guy that owns a coin shop. He helps run it as well, and they're nice coins. They came right from his personal collection. And the question is, how did we get those? Well, one of these days, Way back, like six months, eight months ago, me and Casey went for a drive. We went to drive to Austin, San Antonio, and Dallas. We didn't really have any shows. It wasn't that exciting of a weekend, but we wanted to find people that we can do business with long term. If there's not a coin show near you, this is what I'd recommend. So every time we find a coin shop that really wants to work with us, we get their card and we take a photo of it and we add it to the albums in my phone. And why is that important? Everybody throws away their business cards, and most people don't actually follow up with you when you give them a business card. But you're not that guy. You're not that lady that wants to be a coin dealer. You're somebody that wants to check on somebody every single week. Check on how they're doing, but also check on what coins they have in. They want to sell the coins they get in. They want to return back the cash and then back the inventory. You do the same thing over and over again, just like you. So what we do is we call our dealers, we call people that also buy from us and ask them how they're doing what are they looking for what are they wanting to sell and that's where we come in that's where you come in you have to have those people in your life so you can have a steady stream of inventory for people that want to buy everything stops with people if you don't continue that relationship most people just want to go work for a few hours a day as a coin dealer and they want to go home once again you're not that kind of person I'm not that kind of person. We're going to check in on those people, we're going to buy from them, and we're going to continue to find more customers. Let's show you guys these coins. And uh, is this our other head shipper that we have, Spanky? Yeah, he's over logistics, yeah. Over logistics, yeah. But we hope you guys enjoy these new purchases. Make sure to check them out at AcousticCollectibles.com. Alrighty, guys. So I want to start off showing you this coin top left. This is a gorgeous 81S Morgan Dollar, great MS66. Uh, you know, you're going to see the reason why I picked up these coins is just because they were handpicked by a coin dealer who's seen a lot of coins and wanted to hold a few back. This one is just a really, really beautiful 66 with that S-Mint luster. Up next is this 83O Morgan Dollar. It's in a Rattler. Most of the time when we're going to buy Rattlers, um, we're wanting to buy coins without PVC or haze just because people want that look of a Morgan Dollar and they want that rattler and they're paying for you know a little bit more for stuff like this and so if you sell a coin to somebody with pvc and haze they're not going to like it they're going to want to return it and so that's why we've been really shifting to coins that look like this looks a little undergraded too maybe a 64 by today's standards but definitely a neat coin the next coin is this ogh morgan dollar it's an 86 it's great 64 cac and if you flip it over it's got this really nice crescent on the reverse I didn't really see that until I got it in hand, and I'm glad it looks this nice on the, on the back. The coin was just laying on this coin, probably in a canvas bag, but a uh, little, uh, little bit of a few hits in the field, big hit on the cheek there. It's kind of what held it back from a 64, and there's a little bit of a soft strike, as you can see in the hair there, and on the breast feathers on the reverse. Those are actually a little bit strong, but definitely a nice coin. We have another 84cc. These suckers are coming in like crazy, but we're trying to offer them for a good price. It has a little bit of a yellowish gold toning above uh, the cap. And the cheek is really clean for a cc. Has a few hits on the face and a little chatter in the fields, but definitely a 65. Then we have this 91s Morgan dollar. A little bit of a tougher date, especially in mint state. A little bit of a no. Uh, there's kind of the, you can't really see the rim. It's the no rim uh, holder that they used to have before they came out with the newer ones where you could see the rim. Almost full luster on this coin. It's got a little uh, toning spots on it, but offering this one at Gracie, which is a pretty good price. 
I wanted to take a quick break from showing you guys these new purchases and tell you happy 4th of July. You're gonna watch this video a day before 4th of July, but happy 4th of July. Thank you guys for all the support recently. Uh, it's been really incredible to see all the uh, people that are commenting, liking this video and subscribing. Uh, just continue to do so. We're trying to come out with videos every single week and uh, you guys have been really phenomenal. And so let's get back to showing you guys some coins. Happy 4th of July. Then we had this 99.0 Morgan dollar. The reason why we picked this one up is because the luster is pretty good. The strike is, is pretty strong as well. And uh, I do like the rim toning. It almost looks like a cat eye from afar. And a cat eye is basically almost two moon shaped uh, toning spots on both sides or kind of toning lines. I'll have to show you guys a better example when we get one in, but I do like this coin a lot. Then we have this 83. It's a tougher date for toning, and so this one we wanted to try as well. It's created 64 star for eye appeal at NGC. The little scuffs on the holder there, which is not too big of a concern. And uh, yeah. Then we have this 82S Morgan dollar. It's got some interesting toning to the coin. The cheek is really clear. Has a little bit of uh, chatter out in the fields, but just a really nice 66. Luster is really nice, especially with the terminal toning. Sometimes when you get terminal, you don't get the luster that you used to have, but this is a San Francisco mint coin, so that's what you can expect. Then we have the 79S Morgan dollar. It's got some nice toning to it as well, and a true view. It is CAC approved, so we try to get everything when we try to buy a coin. This one did have it all. I do like the color, and I, I do like uh, it being CAC approved. And so, thank you guys for taking a look at these coins here. We hope you enjoy them.